Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Shaman King episode number 7. Alright, the previous episode, uh, we met two new characters, uh, Hororo and Kororo, I think. Kororo, something like that. Uh, the number of rows, I'm kind of mixing it up, but you know. Uh, but anyways, uh, we met these two characters and I think Hororo will be one of the, you know, best friends that Yo could have in this shaman business you know like yo has friends like i'm not saying that yo does not have friends yo has manta and obviously anna is even though she is her fiance uh, his fiance she's also one of his like you know best friends as well and um ryu is there you know amidamaru but as a fellow shaman uh, i think like this will kind of like help yo in a way because like Hororo is like a fellow shaman so it's like his he's one of the first shaman friends that um uh, yo has made and like yeah and like yo is such a, not yo um Hororo is such an you know uh, amazing ca character i have to say like his personality his up you know upbeat personality uplifting personality and uh he's a nice guy i have to say and you know i think like yo needed someone like this like who could like you know who he could who, who he would be able to call as one of the best friends and uh, i'm sure like you know i'm quite sure that they are going to hit it off good and they're probably going to like you know their bond is probably going to get stronger and stronger and they'll be one of the best friends and yeah like that's really nice and uh we also met her the sister uh, his sister his sister really reminds me of anna in a way because you know how he can she kind of dragged him off for training just like how anna kind of like you know drags you around for training and stuff so that kind of reminded me of that and um yeah and uh, uh like he uh, like had the first fight in the shaman tournament in a way and uh you won so let's see like how many like you know like i'm sure we'll get more fights like this and ren is uh, her, his name was ren wasn't it the guy who killed uh yeah i think who killed one of those uh, messengers so like he like he is targeting yo so let's see like what happens after this you know and oh and by the end of it we also saw um a new character a guy with on a white coat with a reaper scythe or something so yeah I'm, I'm, i think probably this episode will be focused on him so let's see what this episode is about so without further ado let's get started with episode number seven of uh, shaman king so i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started all right so here's the countdown three two one go for feet oh necron oh that guy that white haired coat guy yeah he has a scythe in his hand achieve the officer this is a cost as a medium oh symmetry oh here's the scythe Oh my god. <clears throat> Whoa, over four forty. Oh, what? Yeah, it's in the cemetery. Yeah. Full potential. What about yo? Wait, so what will he do for feet? Like what? Damn, his voice. Ha! <laughs> Fast. Eight. Oh my god! He like he has the, one of those voices, you know, those pretty boy voices. 
like you know you know one of those like this type of characters who has this kind of like you know long type of a face like you know it's quite elegant looking like who looks in like one of those like you know shoujo anime like main characters <laughs> like main male character so he looks like that you know with a hat and like you know it's quite tall it looks quite elegant and his voice is so elegant as well you know like like hello are you like you know are you my are you today's opponent <laughs> Okay. <laughs> what? Oh. Yeah. Hmm. Oh. You used to be a doctor. Okay. Well, that's normal, like, oh my god, this guy's, yeah, okay, who, genius scholar who have, Oh. Oh. Oh my god. Oh my god, he himself is medium. <laughs> oh no, he Yeah, oh my god. Come on. <laughs> oh Wow, great. Oh, what the hell he's using? Oh, oh my God, poor Manta. No, I, I, don't, I don't want to. Oh my God, he's scary. What the? Um, what is, he really is, is this some kind of illusion? <laughs> Wait, did he really like start operating on him? We oui. <laughs> 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 
Oh my god. No, we don't need your expertise. Yeah, and you think suddenly operating on someone is not rude enough? You know? Oh, yeah. Medical files. Born dead reborn. <laughs> yeah, like they're bones, basically. Like he has a sword, katana. Yeah, these are bones. Like, what did you even expect? Wait, he already lost? What? Well, yeah, these things are... Like, you know? Yeah, they can just pick their heads up and... Okay, this is going to be a problem. Wait, what is he drinking? Wait, why not def yeah, defeat him? But, okay. Yeah, okay. Mm, yeah, you cannot, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, first human friend, exactly. <laughs> yeah, she can, can she help him? Human child. Prominent shaman family. Okay, yeah. True, very true. <laughs> what? Yeah. Just that. Yeah. Hmm. 
Hmm. What the? Oh no! He's putting all his Furyoku in that. I think. Oh yeah. Okay, so this is that lady we see in the opening. <laughs> Peak of the art. Resurrecting the dead. Whoa. Yeah, like most probably like he knew before she died or something. Yeah, he is weak now. Oh, okay, yeah, well. Least amount, yeah. Oh my god. Okay. What the? Damn. Okay. What? Elisa Faust. Okay, so was it was this his sister or something? My God. Calm down. Oh my god. Well, he's freaking out now, so... He looks a lot like Faust himself, so most probably... A sister or something. Okay. 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 Hmm. Yeah, this is what he tried to do to Yo, so he's getting the taste of his own medicine. Okay. Hold out to that point. <laughs> He's going to say it again. I'm sure, yeah. Yeah, okay. Oh no, he is going to. Wife! Oh, I thought it was his. Because they look really same. Oh, this is for incurable disease. Overcame it. Oh, no.
that's why he's calling himself fast eight i think can't uh like you know um anna bring uh elsa's soul to that body like she can do that she, he did that before so Mm. yeah he is doing this just for his own like you know um what do you call it his own um yeah Oh no. Wait, he lost. Okay, so this is like a tournament, so he won't be or um, Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that would have been an idiot. Yes. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> cool samurai what what happened to faust is he okay like yeah i was thinking what is he doing Oh no. Okay, yeah, he is going crazy. Damn. Oh, is this Ren? Wow. I think that's Ren. Like the face kind of look like. Yeah, it is Ren. <laughs> Dream. <laughs> Three bottles. Wow, good job. Wait, this is Ren, isn't it? Or am I?
Am I mistaken? Was that? That was... Okay, let's check it out again. Like, I was thinking... Okay, let's, let's just wait for the end. Okay, so... Okay, so yeah, as I was saying, so... This episode... Like, I have something to talk about here, like... The whole thing with, um... Yeah, that is Ren, isn't it? Yeah. Like, the guy who we saw in the, I think in the second episode? Or was it the first episode? I think it was the second episode, wasn't it? Yeah. Like, I'll, I'll just check it. Like, after, after the ending ends, I'll just check it out. Excuse me. <coughs> All right. So. Okay, that's the end. Okay, one thing I have to check out. Check it out. That was just a sec. I'm just checking out his name, like. You know, um, just a sec. Tao Ren, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, that's him. Okay, yeah, that's him. Like, you know, I don't know why, but in the end, I kind of got confused. Uh, so, yeah, that is Ren. Uh, Alright, so, yeah, this episode. This was, um, the seventh episode now one thing that i want to talk about here at the beginning is um like when anna said that he's kind of you know kind of drifting far apart from me now like you know like i don't know like in the previous episodes there was this one episode where anna kind of said that like why i believe in yo because he has like you know he does not want anything like, he does not have any reason for doing this He's doing this just because he wants to make his life easy. He's doing like, you know, trying to become a shaman king because of that. Now, she also said, I can kind of remember, she said that people who have this kind of a goal as to, yeah, I want to become this. I want to become the shaman king. That only holds up until he or she achieves it. After they achieve the goal, you know, like the drive for, like, you know, becoming something like you know like they after they achieve their goal it kind of fades away so i think like uh, anna said something like that like you know like i don't think that like i think yo is a lot better than those type of people now here's the funny thing here this episode the yo here realizes that you know he realizes it that he realizes that he wants to become a shaman king so here's my question like so how will An Anna think about it? Like, you know, like he, he himself said that, like, you know, Yo is a lot better than those people who have this goal that I want to become this. In this episode, Yo kind of realized that, that he himself has a goal. That is, he want to become a shaman king. So, like, you know, so what happens now? Like, that's why I can, in that episode, I kind of said that even though I kind of understand where Anna is coming from, I'm not 100% agreeing with her. Because according to her logic, anyone who wants, like, you know, has a goal. It's like, you know, like, like it's, it's what can I say? Like, she, she thinks that it's not good having a goal because, like, just as soon as you achieve that goal, like that person kind of the spark that was in that person kind of fades away like that's Anna's theory but I kind of disagreed with it in a way because I don't think that is it like there are certain people who might be like you know who might be like that but that does not mean that each and every person who has a goal will be like that you know like humans are different like people have different personalities so like my opinion was that she's true in a way you know in a sense but that does not hold true for each and every one. So here we go. Yo has a goal now. 
like you know he wants to become a shaman king so yeah like and i don't think you know i don't think that yo after achieving that status after he becomes a shaman king i don't think something like that will happen as anna kind of feared that you know like as soon as they reach that goal the spark will die within him because they have reached the goal uh, like her th like you know her explanation was that because yo does not have any goal like like yo will forever uh, be like you know uh, like you know for you will be a lot better than those people so you know now yo in this episode realized his goal so yeah like i don't know like according to her theory like isn't that what's supposed to happen like she did not want yo to have this kind of one of like you know those goals that uh, people have that yeah i want to become this i would want to become that so now that yo has a goal what will she think about this like i i don't know and also she kind of like said in this episode that like, he is kind of you know drifting away from me now i don't know what that actually implies maybe some kind of thing that might have happened in the past or something like you know like there is this usually like um like this thing kind of comes into factor in a lot of animes where usually the main character has like you know a friend or something who really wants the best for the main character but as time goes on those like you know characters kind of realize and see that how the main character is like you know improving 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 kind of like shooting past him or her and is like you know is going a lot ahead of them maybe it's something like that you know like anna is probably feeling because yo is improving yo is growing his character is developing as each and every episode goes so maybe that is what is making anna a bit like you know feel a bit uh not concerned but a, a bit lonely in a way as to like you know how yo is kind of shooting past her like like according like you know like obviously like they are supposed to walk together like anna and yo so maybe like her seeing that yo is like you know kind of becoming a better person each and every day she is getting concerned about her lack of growth I don't know this is just something that I like you know I'm just saying this, that might not be it maybe it's, it's something completely different that Anna was talking about when she said that like she he is drifting apart like you know as the time goes on maybe there's something there's some other reason but like you know as it's like you know as other animes go this is one thing that kind of happens in, in a lot of animes so that's why i said maybe that's also the case here who knows i'll just wait for the upcoming episodes i'm sure we'll get more explanations as to what the actual meaning was behind anna's words in this episode you know okay so that was all about anna and yo like i just wanted to talk about this uh you know and uh, like as like yo found a goal this episode mm, yeah and okay now let's talk about faust uh, faust and uh, elisa now i thought eliza was his sister or something like you know like they looked so similar like their hair color and everything you know they're okay almost everything like i thought like maybe his sister or maybe his mom i even thought that maybe that was his mom you know like you know when his mom died maybe she was young that's why like that was like the um you know the body structure that we were seeing like as a, a very young lady like i thought maybe something like that but it turns out that she was his wife okay so now one thing i really did not expect in this episode was him cutting manta up like, i was thinking like you know like he like it's like this show really surprises me in a lot of things like that was another surprising thing that i saw like he suddenly started cutting up manta up like you know like <laughs> like i, I <laughs> that was really surprising it kind of caught me off guard when we when i saw the blood kind of you know pouring out like i was thinking is that some kind of illusion or something like he just suddenly went there and started cutting him up like damn 
<laughs> but you know like uh, they did not show us the wound i don't know why they did that like like you know they did not show us him actually cutting him up maybe because like you know like, of the blood or something you know like the censorship is this some kind of censorship that they did i'm not actually sure like you know they this like they showed us that the blood was actually flowing like you know but they did not show us the actual portion like you know he kind of uh, cut manta up like he, he had a scalpel in his hand i thought like you know like they just show, showed us like him cutting him up that was just it even when yo was bandaging manta up they did not show us the wound at all so that was kind of weird in a way i don't know why but it kind of like felt weird to me <laughs> because they showed us the blood but they did not show us the wound but anyways and also that was also the reason why i was thinking is that is this some kind of illusion or something like why are they not show, showing us a wound and then i thought oh, okay maybe like you know maybe that's not actually it. this is something real that is happening anyways um yeah and then like uh yeah what was i saying yeah his his backstory is sad you know in a way because as he said like he like she was able to break free of her uh like future of her um like the death that was coming in her future and she was able to break free from that but unfortunately as they say like you know uh, uh what can i say like destiny for like you know like the destiny played a bad joke on him cruel joke on him and after like you know becoming happy he lost him uh lost her just because there were some robbers you know like who decided to shoot her like that's very sad and that's how like you know that's i'm sure like that's what kind of changed him he became this kind of a crazy uh, like you know mad scientist who started to experiment on uh, dead bodies and who wants to um so, so that he can get his wife back and i don't know like one thing i kind of mentioned before but can like you know yo uh, not yo like uh, can anna bring the soul back to her you know body or something i'm not sure like in 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 uh pyron's case she did that didn't she like she did not bring pyron's you know soul back but he brought pyron's master so like she can't do that so i'm not sure whether she'll do that for this lady or not elsa but you know it would be good like you know like he can at least meet his wife again even if it's for a brief amount of time but you know so yeah like i really hope that she does something like you know anaka does something like that at least by the end of this and uh, yeah and you lost yeah that was the main thing in this episode you lost and i was not expecting that because as we as they said that uh, your power was a lot more but uh the but Faust really played a trick on him he kind of exhausted his mana by kind of like you know using a limited amount of his own mana to bring up like you know to bring back the dead the skeletons and like the, he used those skeletons to tire you out and after that he pulled out his trump card so yeah yo was definitely stronger than him but like this was a very disadvantageous fight for you because of the location like you know you are putting a necromancer in a grave so what do you even expect this is like giving the like you know the uh, the opponent there is a necromancer like a huge head start like it's like he has like you know like um almost two or three times more chance to win because of the location in itself like like what like he they kind of said that four thousand i think four thousand like what manta said that four thousand people are buried in here so like what like why like like as like silver said like this is the great spirits um the greater spirits decision where they can kind of bring out the whole power now maybe you know maybe uh, like the greater spirit did this because he he or she i'm not sure who like what gender that greater spirit is but anyways like because they wanted yo to realize his goal maybe that was it you know like uh like silver said that this is the place that 
and they decided for the battle to happen so that the people involved in this battle can bring out their hundred percent so i'm sure like you know this probably like helped yo to realize that oh maybe like you know maybe i am not as nonchalant as i thought maybe i really want to win this so that's what happened in this episode as he said like uh, like up until now i really didn't care like i just wanted to have a good life i just wanted to have a hassle free life uh, so that's why i decided to become a shaman king and i never thought that i would lose like this and after losing i would feel something like this so he realized this episode that yeah maybe i really want to become a shaman king it's not that like you know this is just some kind of a time pass thing that i'm doing it really is something that i want and like as much as anna kind of said in the previous episode that he prefers yo like this a lot better than the other people who have these lofty goals I think a little amount of a goal, you know, a goal or an ambition is needed for at least something like this. Like this is like a, becoming a shaman king. Like you need at least a little amount of ambition for you to actually, like you know, keep going. Like like people who do not have ambition at all, like if they lose, they're probably going to like you know go back and say that like no, I give up. Like. But you did not give up this episode. He said that I felt frustrated, which means that it's not as he thought he was. He thought that he really did not care, but he did have an ambition, which, like, you know, kind of uh, revealed itself in this episode. Like, he himself was surprised as to, like, you know, feel fr as he felt frustrated after losing. So, yeah, like, especially in these type of things, like, you know, whenever you want to become something, you know, have some kind of huge goal, like becoming a shaman king, becoming the Hokage, <laughs> or becoming, like, you know, like, uh, the greatest, you know, the, uh, <laughs> like, the pirate king or something. Whenever you have these kind of goals, you definitely need, uh, even if it's a little bit of an ambition, otherwise it won't happen. Like how little, how minuscule amount it is, you definitely, like, you know, you definitely need it. If you don't have it, you probably won't be able to, like, you know, reach there. You will, like, get stopped in the middle of it. Like, that's the thing. So, yeah, like, he found his ambition. He found his goal. He found uh, what he wanted to do. So, yeah, that's, like, this is one of the educational you know uh, things that you understood here like losing kind of taught him what the actual like you know what he actually felt his own emotions and Amida Manu really kind of explained it like you know in a good way <laughs> and Anna was like like who is this cool samurai here <laughs> you know when like Amida Manu was kind of explaining and I don't know why but like some like still images in this episode were kind of weird like Anna's face looked really weird in one of the still images when she was kind of like you know standing like her eyes was kind of like you know weird position <laughs> like, it is, <laughs> like it's kind of weird the like you know the visuals in this episode and like also Amida Maru in a few like you know scenes kind of looked weird like his eyes were kind of like you know misaligned in a way like Anna's thing really kind of surprised me like her face was really misaligned in one of those scenes, you know, when he was standing and Manta was also standing. Like, uh, not he, like, sorry, she was standing and Manta was also standing. Like, Anna's face looked weird. <laughs> kind of like, you know. So, yeah, and in the end, we see, like, the uh, Faust kind of losing and Ren coming in. And Ren kind of bragging and flexing that, oh, like you don't drink milk, but I drink three bottles of milk every day. So I win. <laughs> okay. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. This was Shaman King uh, episode number seven. So if you guys enjoyed my reaction, be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed. Comment down below anything you want to say. I'll definitely check them out. So yeah, guys, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next week with another episode of Shaman King. Same time. So until then, goodbye and have a nice day.